Have you ever wondered about the origins of the enchanting Venetian masks? Picture a city steeped in mystery and tradition, where the age-old craft of mask-making is a vital part of its cultural fabric. Welcome to Venice, Italy, the birthplace of the famed Venetian masks. These masks with their intricate designs, vibrant colors and rich symbolism, have been captivating hearts and minds since time immemorial. Their allure lies not just in their aesthetic appeal, but also in the stories they tell, the characters they embody, and the festive culture they represent. Every year, during the Venetian Carnival, the city comes alive with people adorning these masks, adding to the city's vibrant and enchanting atmosphere. The intrigue of mask-making lies in its ability to blend tradition with innovation, craftsmanship with artistry, and history with contemporary culture. So are you ready to uncover the secrets behind these fascinating pieces of art? Let's delve deep into the history and tradition of these mesmerizing pieces of art. Venetian masks have a rich history that dates back to the ancient times. Born in the heart of the Venetian Republic, these masks served a multitude of purposes, each steeped in history and tradition. From the earliest days, Venetians used masks as a form of expression, a tool for disguise and a means of transcending social class. In the labyrinthine streets of Venice masks were more than mere accessories, they were a social equalizer, offering anonymity in a city known for its rigid social hierarchy. Crafted meticulously by skilled artisans, these masks were a testament to the city's rich cultural tapestry. The process of mask-making was a painstaking one. Craftsmen used techniques passed down through generations, molding the masks from clay and covering them with a layer of gesso, a white paint mixture. Once dried, the masks were painted, decorated, and often adorned with gold leaf, feathers, and jewels. Each mask was unique, reflecting the artisan's interpretation of the wearer's persona. But the design of these masks was not solely the work of the craftsmen. The Commedia dell'arte, a form of theater born in Italy in the 16th century, greatly influenced their design. Characters from this theatrical tradition such as Harlequin, Pantalon, and Columbina, became staples in the repertoire of Venetian mask designs. Their exaggerated expressions and distinctive features resonated with the public, adding a new layer of complexity to the art of mask making. The influence of Commedia dell'arte on Venetian mask making is a testament to the interconnectedness of the arts. The masks became a canvas for the artisans, reflecting the humor, drama, and satire of the theater. In essence, the ancient traditions of Venetian mask making were not merely about creating a physical object. They were about crafting a narrative, a persona, a mirror to society's dynamics. Each mask told a story, spoke of a character, and represented a moment in time. These ancient traditions laid the groundwork for what would become an enduring art form. Over the centuries, Venetian mask making has evolved into a refined art form. This evolution has been a journey, a dance of creativity and innovation that has seen the craft metamorphose from simple beginnings to the complex and intricate designs we see today. In the early years, Venetian masks were simple and functional, made from materials like leather, clay, and papier-mâché. They were painted in basic colors, primarily black, white, and red with minimal adornments. The purpose was clear, to hide the wearer's identity during the raucous carnival of Venice. As time wore on, the craft evolved. Mask makers, or mascherari as they're traditionally called, began experimenting with new materials. They started incorporating velvet, silk, and brocade fabrics, even gilding with gold and silver leaf. The designs grew more intricate, reflecting the grandeur and opulence of Venetian society. The evolution of craftsmanship didn't stop at materials. Techniques evolved too. Artists began using cartapesta, a method of layering paper and glue to create a lightweight yet durable base. This allowed for more elaborate designs and the creation of larger, more dramatic masks. Patterns and colors also transformed over time. Inspired by the Commedia dell'arte, a form of improvisational theater popular in Italy, artists started creating character masks. Each character had its own distinct pattern, color palette, and symbolism. Harlequin, with his multicolored checkered pattern, and Pantalon, with his red attire and long, hooked nose, are just a couple of examples. This evolution of craftsmanship continues today, with modern artists finding new ways to interpret and reinvent this traditional art form. They experiment with contemporary materials like plastic and metal, create innovative patterns using digital design tools, and even incorporate LED lights for a touch of modernity. 
The journey from simple clay masks to the intricate, symbolic, and artistic creations of today is a testament to the adaptability and ingenuity of Venetian mask artists. They have skillfully preserved an age-old tradition while continuously pushing the boundaries of their craft. This evolution showcases the adaptability and ingenuity of Venetian mask artists. In the modern era, Venetian mask making has taken a new turn. The age-old tradition is still very much alive but it's been infused with a fresh pulse of creativity and innovation. Contemporary artists are preserving the heritage and the artistry of the past, while also bringing their unique vision and touch to it. The modern interpretations of these timeless pieces are striking. Artists experiment with different materials, pushing the boundaries while still maintaining the essence of the classic Venetian mask. Today you'll find masks made not only from the traditional paper mache but also from materials like leather, ceramic or even metal. In terms of design, modern Venetian masks are a delightful blend of the old and the new. Some artists choose to keep the classic patterns, colors and symbolism, adding subtle modern twists. Others may take a more radical approach, creating avant-garde designs that challenge the conventional. For instance, imagine a mask that preserves the iconic Bauta design, but is adorned with abstract geometric patterns, a stark departure from the traditional floral motifs. Or picture a Moretta mask, traditionally plain and black, reimagined with vibrant colors and bold modern patterns. Contemporary artists are not just making masks, they're telling stories, expressing emotions and challenging perceptions. Every mask is a piece of art, a tangible reflection of the artist's imagination and creativity. This evolution is not just about aesthetic changes, it's also about the techniques and the craftsmanship. Modern mask makers often blend traditional techniques with new ones, experimenting with different methods to achieve their desired effect. The modern artistry of Venetian masks is a testament to the enduring allure of this craft. It's a celebration of the past, a nod to the future, and a clear indication that the Venetian mask tradition will continue to evolve, enchant, and inspire for many years to come. Venetian mask making is an art that is passed down through generations. This profound tradition finds its heart in the schools dedicated to the craft. These institutions play an instrumental role in preserving and propagating the rich legacy of Venetian mask making, ensuring that the art form doesn't merely survive, but thrives. Venetian mask-making schools are the gateways to a world of intricate designs, vibrant colors, and the story of a city steeped in history. They are the training grounds where eager learners are transformed into master artists. These schools imbibe in their students the respect for tradition and the courage to innovate, thus fostering a new generation of mask-makers who are both skilled craftsmen and creative visionaries. The curriculum of these schools is a fine blend of theory and practice, Students learn about the history of Venetian masks, the symbolism behind the designs, the significance of the colors, and the role of masks in the city's festive culture. They are also taught about the influence of Commedia dell'arte on the mask designs and the role of mask making in Venetian theater and performance. But learning doesn't just stop at the classroom door. Students get hands-on experience in workshops where they learn traditional mask making techniques. They work with a variety of materials, from paper mache to leather, creating masks that are both beautiful and functional. This practical exposure allows them to understand the nuances of the craft and develop their unique style. The role of these schools extends beyond teaching. They are the custodians of the Venetian mask-making heritage. They work tirelessly to keep the tradition alive, organizing exhibitions, participating in festivals, and collaborating with theaters and performance artists. They also reach out to the community, inviting locals and tourists alike to experience the magic of mask-making. These schools are not just educational institutions, they are living, breathing entities that embody the spirit of Venice. They are the keepers of an age-old tradition, the nurturers of talent, and the incubators of innovation. These schools are the torchbearers of the Venetian mask-making tradition. Venetian masks are more than just pieces of art, they are a symbol of an enduring tradition. Tracing back the timeline, we've journeyed through the ancient customs, witnessing the birth and evolution of this remarkable craft. We've seen how these masks, once a vital part of Venetian festivities and theater, have transformed over the centuries, adapting and yet holding on to their rich heritage. The modern artisans, the true custodians of this tradition, continue to weave their magic, creating intricate designs that echo the old while embracing the new. And let's not forget the vital role of mask-making schools, 
ensuring the artistry is passed on to the next generation, keeping the tradition alive and vibrant. As we've seen, every mask tells a story, a narrative of a city, a culture, and an age-old craft that refuses to fade into obscurity. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more fascinating glimpses into the world of art and culture.